Hey guys, Mr. Rogers here. Today we're gonna work with subtracting simple fractions. Okay, and remember back to the other videos, fractions is just a way of showing part of a whole. So you're not using the whole amount, you're just using part of that amount. So when we subtract fractions, subtracting fractions is very similar to adding, except you're doing a different operation. But the way you get to your fractions, the way you need them to be, is the same with adding. So if you look up here on my board, I have three different rules that you need to follow when you're subtracting fractions. Notice these rules are very similar to the rules when you add fractions. They are just written out a little different. They have the operations that we're actually doing today. So today, since we're subtracting fractions, we're going to work with the rules that evolve around subtracting. So if you notice up here, my first rule is like denominators. When you're dealing with fractions and you're adding or subtracting them, you need to have like denominators. That's important because to be able to do the operation of adding and subtracting, you need to have the same amount of the whole or the same amount of parts available. Because whole is the amount of parts available. It's important to be able to see and see both fractions having the same parts to be able to see when you add or subtract what your answer would be. Okay, so in a minute, that will make more sense when I get into a problem. Then step number two is subtract the numerators. So when you have the same denominators or like denominators, then you can go into subtracting. So you would subtract the numerators. Then that goes into our third rule, drag the denominator over. So after you've made like denominators, after you've subtracted the numerators, you're going to drag the denominator over. You work so hard to get the denominators to be the same, you do not want to subtract those denominators because then you will get a whole different denominator and you spend all that time getting the like denominators that you wasted time. So let's go into some problems. So if I was to give you the problem 6 eighths and I'm going to take away 2 eighths, what would be my answer? Okay. I am going to show you two different ways that you can work out subtracting fractions, okay? So the first way is like a normal math problem. So if I look at my rules, my first rule was like denominators. So if I notice right here, my 6 eighths and my 2 eighths have the same denominator. My denominators are an eight, so that means I'm ready to go. I can go into step number two. Step two was to subtract the numerators. So 6 take away 2 would be 4, okay, because 6 subtract 2. Then after I subtracted my numerators, then I go into my third rule, dragging my denominator over. So I would just drag the 8 over, so my answer is 4 8. So that is the first way that I'm going to show you, and that's just the math way. The next way I'm going to show you is using a model. So if you notice right here, going back to my first rule of having like denominators, both of my fraction have like denominators of 8. Okay, so I'm going to draw a box here, and I'm going to split this box into 8. Okay. So I've split it into fourths, and then halves. So then I have 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at this first fraction. Okay, so when you're subtracting fractions, the bigger fraction is going to go in the front. Because if your bigger fraction was the second fraction, then when you were to go do that problem, you would get negative numbers, and you don't want that with fractions. So I'm going to look at my first fraction because it's my bigger fraction. So if I look at here, I need to have 6 eighths. So what that means, I need to color in six parts of my eight, okay? Because with a fraction, you know, the whole is what the denominator is, and the part is what the numerator is. So my six tells me I need to color in six parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so my first fraction, six eighths, is down here in my model. I've color, colored in six parts of my eight pieces. Now, what you need to know when you're working with a model is worrying about the second fraction now. You might be thinking, what am I going to do with that second fraction? 
Well, all that you're going to do with that second fraction is you're just going to mark out the amount of parts being taken away from the big fraction that you have. So if I look up here at my problem in my model, I have six pieces of the eight colored in. What I'm going to do with this two eights is I'm going to make like I'm going to like color out or mark out two pieces of the six eight. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark out two pieces that I've colored in. Okay? Now, after you've done that to get your answer, you're going to look at how many pieces you have colored in left. Okay? So if you notice right here, I have one, two, three, four pieces that is left that's colored in. Okay? And I have eight pieces total because my model was split into eight. So my answer is four eighths. If you notice, my answer is in the same or is the same in both the math version and then the model version. So that means your answer is correct. Okay, so let's look at a different problem. What if I gave you the problem? Seven tenths take away three tenths. Okay. If I do it the math way, I'm doing it the long way. Set, uh, if I look at my rules, my first rule is like denominators. I see that both of these fractions have like denominators of tenths. So I can move into my second rule of subtracting the numerators. Seven take away three is four. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag the numerator over. So then it would just be out of tenths. So my answer again is four tenths, okay? If I go to show you in the model, since my numerators both have 10 in them, so they're split into tenths, I'm going to split my model down here into tenths, okay? So I'm going to split it in half and then I'm going to break this into five different tenths. So if you look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my model is split into 10 pieces because my fractions are in tenths. Okay, so if I look at my first fraction, I need to color in seven out of those 10 pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now if I look at my second fraction, what this means is I'm going to take three pieces away from the seven pieces I already colored in. So if you notice, I have seven pieces colored. All I'm going to do, I'm taking three pieces away. So I'm marking out three of those colored pieces. Now if you look, now I need to figure out how many pieces that are colored are left. One, two, three, four. So I have four colored pieces left, and it's going to be out of ten because I was working with fractions of tenths. So my answer is four tenths. Okay, let's do another one. So I can make sure you all know what you're doing. So if you're having trouble, then this one can help you. Okay, so let's do a simpler fraction with smaller pieces. Okay, so if I give you the fraction 2 fourths, and I want you to take away 1 fourth, what would be my answer? Okay, so 2 fourths take away 1 fourth. My first rule is to make sure I have like denominators. Both of my denominators are four. That means I'm dealing with fourths. That means I can move into rule number two. Rule number two was to subtract numerators. Two take away one is one. Okay. Rule number three, my last rule is to drag the denominator over if they're like denominators. Well, since they're like denominators, I can just drag it over, which is four. So my answer would be one fourth. Okay, then if I was to show you that in a model, if I look up here at my fraction pieces, my holes are cut into forks, so I'm going to just split this in half right here and then do forks. So I have four pieces, okay? My first fraction tells me how many pieces I need to color out of those four. So I need to color two pieces out of four. So I'm going to color one, two, okay? Now, my second fraction is going to tell me how many of those pieces I need to mark out from the ones I just colored. So 
So I already have two fourths colored in because that's what my first fraction tells me. Now I'm going to take away one of those pieces. So I'm going to mark out one of those pieces I just colored in. Okay, because one fourth tells you I need to take away one of those pieces I just colored in. So now if I look right here, now I'm just left with one colored piece and out of four because I'm dealing with fourths. So my answer is one fourth. All right. Again, in these videos, I show you a couple ways to do these problems. Again, it's whatever way makes you more comfortable to get the right answer. You can do either way, okay? Whatever way makes you more comfortable and that you're better at, okay? So use whatever way you want, but I hope this video helped you guys. Until next time.